whatever, but I Danny TC the criminal violin here. And what I want to do here uh, for this is simply basically uh, explain just like why nothing went up today, nothing went up yesterday, like they said basically I was gonna try and do. Um, actually, totally did go up yesterday. Wasn't that squirrel sucking bonus that I put up yesterday? Or no. No, I did not put up anything yesterday, that's right now. Anyway, um, so yesterday, uh, and I said that I may or may not have a video on the day before yesterday, I said this, uh, I may or may not have a video yesterday, or, yeah, for yesterday, because of the fact that I would have to prepare it and pre-upload it, uh, the night of, basically the night of, or the night before, yeah, so the 23rd, uh, before Christmas Eve day, and... Uh, I didn't, so that basically said I'm not going to be able to put up a video. Um, and what was going to happen is me and my mom were going to go over to my sister's house and we were going to help her prepare uh, for a, uh, what we knew as a, a party for that we didn't have in a few days, is what it, how my mom understood it, and so that's what we were going to do. We are going to help her cook and clean and set up and stuff for it. And as uh, the day of Christ, we ended up going there instead at like from like 1.30 or 1.45 we actually got picked up like way later than anyone ex expected or thought and um we ended up spending that whole afternoon there helping her out and um found out that all of that was for today and that that party was today and it was all about uh, Christmas basically. It was a Christmas day feast party thing. And uh, see that my mom understood it as we weren't a part of it. It was for her and her friends and stuff and all that. And it turned out that no, we were also, both me and my mom were supposed to be there. And it was uh, really cool. It's like, hey, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, and so, we're like, alright. Um, but I had decided that. Uh, since my sister said it was okay, I was gonna stay over there and sleep over the night into today, and that's what I ended up doing. And uh, then today, yeah, we ended up having the Christmas party before I go into the awesomeness of all that, uh, explaining things that I feel are important for people to see that perspective of and understand and you know, all that stuff, just so they can, I guess, better understand other people's perspectives and stuff. And, ways of celebrating and all that stuff. Um, before we get into that though, uh, I do not have a cell phone at all. I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm a month away from being 22, so I'm a millennial, you expect like, you're always on your phone. I'm not, like, I don't have a cell phone. And honestly, I usually don't care to, although like, I feel like actually that would be useful <laughs> in the end. Like, I hate ever admitting that. And there's so many times where my mind just like pulls, like I don't even have to do it, my mind just automatically pulls into self into a denial state. It's like, I actually probably could have one. Yeah. But anyway, um, but you know, I don't have a cell phone, so I can't update people that way. Like most people, that's automatically, you know, when they're on about that, or if something changes, you know, on the fly like that, they can just on the fly update everybody. It's like, I can't, I didn't have the ability because I can do that. And plus, their computers or their computers, and they were either busy, preoccupied, so I didn't bother asking them, or uh, the other people on their computers were using them the whole time, <laughs> like all day, yesterday, and uh, when that is when they weren't working, and then all night last night, and then all day today when we weren't, you know, associating and also helping finish prepping and stuff. I uh, know that. So, I couldn't date you guys, Um I'm really sorry about that, you know. Uh, it's like, I know some people might say, it's like, well, you could have had a tablet. It's like, yeah, I have a tablet, but I don't almost ever use it because I don't usually find a purpose for it. Like, the only time I usually use it for and I find it why I want to have it is because of the fact that um, if, say, my computer has an issue that doesn't allow me, say, the Wi-Fi card, you know, fries or something, or uh, in the, and or 
the internet for this specific computer for some stupid reason refuses to work, then I can use my tablet to update it. But he's like, by the way, that means I can't be in the video. But anyway, um, yeah. Basically, originally that's the reason why I have my tablet why I want it. But um, anyway, so that's that. So that's why I can update you guys. But anyway, so that's the basis of what everything was going on yesterday and why there's no video and why there's no video today. Um, well, I really want to explain that. First off, I've never once celebrated Christmas in my life. Never once. I got. I was born into a JW or Jehovah's Witness family, which they're anti holiday to any kind of a holiday. Any holiday is evil, basically. And considered worldly and stuff. So it's considered poisonous to the spirituality and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know. So a lot of times I've been told it's like, well then it's just, that's just something you're carrying over, you know, it's like, that's, you go up to the believe it. it's like, that's not at all the case, I just like, I've never really found myself having much of a reason or a will or a want to celebrate any kind of a holiday, like all of them, to me, are just kind of useless to me, they're just like, what, what's the point, you know, it's just like, I don't care, basically, um, but, I always have this things like with specifically things like Christmas. I'm like, well, if I ever allow myself to celebrate Christmas, what would happen is I would take out the Christmas part of Christmas. So I take out the two, and this is a literal fact, the two hijackings, which was the Catholic Church hijacking, which made it into the Christ's birth celebration and all that stuff, the, the religious aspects of it. That was a hijacking because it was initially in the either 14 or 1500s in England. It was the laborers, or the the peasants, the workers, basically. Um, they forced the king at that time to give them a day where they could, or it ended up being a few days instead in a row, that they could rest and be with family and friends. And so a lot of the time, uh, these people would have a big feast, and they would have, um, they would have, uh, you know, a lot of times they would actually exchange gifts and stuff. And they'd, you know, trade off, you know, who was gonna have families over and stuff like that. That, you know, they were friends with and all that. It was, it was Labor Day, basically. But it was a laborers, laborers few days, basically. They got off of work. And that was because they went up and basically were like, no. You're going to give us this because otherwise we never have a break. That's what actually Christmas was, and I wish or, I wish they uh, wasn't so heavily put on the two hijackings that happened, because that way we'd be able to know what it was initially called. I don't know what it would have been called, but basically they were day they were days of rest for their laborers. Then it got hijacked by the Catholic Church, which made it into a religious uh, holiday, and then after that corporate America, the U.S. decided they were gonna, corporate America decided we want to capitalize on this and make tons of money off of it, which added extra emphasis on materialism, which is all the Black Friday, all of the other shopping, you know, all the emphasis on the gifts and purchasing things, it was basically, in other words, the corporate America's way of saying, give us all your money so you can have financial problems. And we are the ones that are happy because we just got a bunch of money, you know, for useless things that you're probably going to enjoy for up to maybe a year and then you're going to get tired of it or it's going to break or whatever else and you'll buy another one or something. So, you know, it was two different hijackings and those are the two hijackings. And to me, I want to take both those things out because to me, what would be the most important thing of celebrating uh, Christmas for me, if I celebrate it, would be simply to have it as a, a family, a gathering of family and friends, to be surrounded and have a great time, you know, with the ones that you care about most. So your family and your friends, basically. And just have a good time. And obviously have your, you know, your feast or whatever, you know, karaoke or whatever, and have a good time. And that's exactly how my sister and her friends do it. And so, it, it, both these things were like phenomenally amazing and hot, fun and epic and um, just like 
overwhelmingly amazing experiences for me, and I'm so incredibly, like, happy. I'm super tired, but I'm, like, super happy, relaxed because of it. It's just, like, it's such a unique experience to be able to have these new experiences in hand now, and it makes me so much more happy. And so, technically, this year is the first time I've ever celebrated Christmas, but not in the stereotypical sense of Christmas, whether it's, you know, the gifts, or the sense of religious aspect, it's the sense instead of Christmas as I feel it personally it should be, which is, again, basically a big family gathering. It's a, and friends, you know, gathering together and having a good time. It's basically a family day, or, you know, a, a get-together is what it is, you know. And it's super laid back, and that's the thing it was, and I'm just so thankful that I was there, because it's just amazing to be a part of that and so today is just like there's so much awesomeness about it because I met you know a bunch of new people I met a lot of her friends and uh, one of them Raul is super epic oh god he's such an awesome dude I'm so glad I was able to meet him and hang out with him a bit and stuff um, but you know it was super laid back so you know basically you know we get up and finish the preparations and then uh, you know you have talks with other people, you know, you talk with them, and have funny conversations, do voice acting impressions, what's in the box? No, <laughs> stupid things like that, and crack stupid jokes, and eventually you end up, say, mindlessly, off and on, deciding to watch a show, or watch a TV or something, just some nice people laid back, and then eventually we ended up watching uh, some Doctor Who marathons and stuff, which is really awesome, so have that going on. And, of course, the the whole family and a lot of the friends of the family is like, Whovians, you know? It's like, you have to watch. Because um, it's just freaking awesome. And I love Doctor Who personally, especially um, David Tennant, of course. I'm a huge fan of David Tennant. And I actually really like Peter Capaldi, which is the current guy. But anyway. Um, yeah, so he did that and blah, blah, blah. You know, talk and you know, that sort of stuff. Like, I eat food, go into a food coma. Take a nap, not good. <laughs> uh, um, and eventually we ended up going into doing karaoke as the day was winding down. And um, I didn't actually really so much participate in the karaoke because I have nerves of flames when it comes to stuff like that. And I have extreme stage fights. Like, I badly would love to be able to do it without a hitch. Just like go into a super happy guns blaze because. I thoroughly enjoy it and love it so much, and it's, you know, I would love seeing the rare occasion that I do it, you know, full power and out loud without a hitch or a problem or anything, and just need to get rid of those nerves, but, you know, um, I didn't participate in it that much, but near the end of it, uh, I ended up, I ended up singing out loud on a few songs, really quietly and really badly, um, although one of them I ended up going a little more powerful and a little more relaxed. Which was, I believe I can fly. Although R. Kelly's version, which I'm not used to because I'm used to the one from Space Jam, whoever does that one. That that rendition is by far my favorite. Like R. It's okay. But that one that one uh, is much better to me. And easier to figure out, and I like the style of it better. But you know, I did that a lot more because uh there's certain types of songs and scenes and uh the way uh, singers will sing it with certain power and style at a certain point uh, they'll suddenly go into the power spike and uh, when it goes into the I believe I can fly you know it's like that part when it takes that break and it suddenly does that it's like I love the way they do it they just break into power with it you know f with a full full set of full lungs you know and all that and I just love doing that kind of thing so I always got more into it and loud every time that part of the song came up, but anyway. So I had a good time with that too, and I, that started though, like I started, I found myself, like my body tranquilized itself when it gets super like, you know, tired like that, and Ace of Bass played, which I hadn't heard in a long time, and ended up singing out loud to it. And that's, ever since at that point, uh, I was singing out loud until my mom's like, starts hearing me uh, be the only one that was out loud, really horrifically, <laughs> singing out loud to uh, Where Is The Love by Black Eyed Peas, each of the, all the lyrics, I was the only one who was doing it, because everybody's like, I can't exactly remember the lyrics, I'm like, I know the lyrics to that by heart, yeah. Um, 
So I was doing it, and you know, my my mom suddenly halfway through notices it, and after that, I'm like, my nerves just like, nope, I'm not allowing you to have any more vocalization out loud after that on <laughs> anything musical. Damn, <laughs> mother! And, uh, this is just stuck in the karaoke mic towards me, and my, my nerves in me are like, not a chance. <laughs> S screw you. Anyway, but uh. And, uh, Raul and everybody else, but especially Raul, really wanted me to sing Grenade out loud. They really wanted me to hear you do that by Bruno Mars, and I'm like, God, I want to so badly. God, I want to so badly, with full power and everything, without any nervousness, but my nerves at that point, you know, especially considering it's that kind of a song for me. It's my favorite song of all time now. Um, I never really had a favorite song because there's a bunch of songs that were up there tied for like my favorite if I could even consider it my favorite because I love music so much um, and so much music at that um, but then I hear Grenade and I was like easily it's like there's no way I have like the song better than that but um yeah so it's like I'd love to do that and it's like you should do it and do it do it do it and I'm like I eventually ended up getting actually fairly frustrated, and my nerves were too. It's like, don't you dare push me any further. You know, it's just like, no, no. And like, yeah, I don't know. Probably about forty-five minutes out into the whole karaoke session, I eventually just says like, like if you kept pressuring me, everybody, including myself, would be dead. And you can't put that on me, all their deaths, because it's my nerves that kill them, not me. <laughs> they did it to me. And everyone else, I didn't do it. This is a joke, but you know, it's just like, in other words, my nerves are always a flame, especially that kind of thing. It's like, sad, but I'll eventually get there. I just hope it's sooner than later, you know, to be able to do that. But I'd love to start singing a lot out loud. And do even cover videos, I'd love to do that. Especially with things like Renee, that would be amazing. But anyway, the point is, is we had like the the most laid back, simple, but greatest time. Um, and I'm so freaking happy I did that. So it's my, my first ever uh, uh, Christmas that I ever celebrated. So I just wanted to explain this just because I really wanted to tell everybody like how awesome of it was and what went on and let you all know just like how amazing it was and to let you know basically I guess for perspective purposes, so you all know, like, my viewpoint on it before versus, say, after, which is a little looser and a little more comfortable and stuff with it. Just simply, like, I might start to live in Christmas if I could do that with my sister all the time like that, because that's an epic group of people, and they do it in the way that I'm comfortable with it. Um, yeah, and I just want to give you guys the perspective from me and the perspective of how they celebrate it versus, say, maybe you celebrate it or something. Yeah, all that stuff. But yeah, like that's that's how you celebrate Christmas because that honestly, like, especially nowadays, since it's not so much a Labor Day thing as it's a Labor set of days, as it's more well, exactly that. You know, it's it's the purpose of it is not the religious orientation. It's not the the giving or getting of gifts or buying of it. It's the fact that you're having a great, amazing time with friends and family and the ones you care about the most, you know. That's, that is what Christmas really is. Uh, you know. But, anyway, you yeah, know, but of course it depends on who you are and what you believe in all that stuff, how you want to celebrate things. So, I mean, you know, it's up to you, of course, but just want to give you that perspective and let you know what was going on and how much I'm happy that I let it happen and it's amazing it's an enjoyable and now the another part of it is a course and title Merry Christmas Happy Holidays seriously though, like I hope you guys have been having the most kick-ass and best amazing happiest times you know this holiday season so it feels so weird for me to say that because like, I never say this. But anyway, um, first time for everything, quite literally. Anyway, um, and if, even if you still don't celebrate or whatever, or participate in it, whatever you prefer to, to uh, signify it as, if you don't, still, obviously, the best of 
vibes, the best of energy, the best of happiness. All. Point is, just ha I hope you've been having an amazing and happy time, and I hope you keep doing it. And yeah, so Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah. Also, of course, here is to the best year ever for everyone. I don't know why I've never had a feeling like this before, but I just like, to me, everything is screaming like 2016 is going to be the best thing ever. So hopefully it is. This year, 2015, has been amazing. And it's been, for me personally, it's been one of the slowest years to go by of all time. Um, there's certain things I can look back on and it makes it seem to go a lot quicker. But looking at it as a whole, it's the slowest year that's ever gone by for me. Which, for me, I feel like is really good. I don't exactly appreciate the feeling when you look back and you're like, Holy freaking crap, this year has just shot by! And I was like, how in the heck did that happen? And it's like, I don't exactly appreciate that feeling very much, because it's like... It feels like there's not much back to look back on, you know? and appreciate, but then there's this kind of a slower year, and it's it feels like it goes by slow like that, and you can look at it as, like, slow, because, you know, usually when it goes by and you look at it that way, that means that usually you see a lot more stuff, because a lot more stuff did happen, and it's usually a lot better stuff that happened and stuff that you look, look back on, like, you know, there's some crap that happened, but then look at what it led to, or, you know, it's like, look at all the awesome stuff that happened, and, you know, whatever, and it's like, that's exactly what this year has been. This year has been the most amazing, phenomenal, full of firsts for me as well, uh, year ever. Like, beyond comprehension, like, this has been the best year ever. I do not know how in the hell I could possibly quantify that. It's been the weirdest, most outlandish, outcastish, bizarre, yet epic, amazing, weird year for me. It's been wild, and I can't appreciate that more. And of course, you guys have been a big part of that, and you guys have helped that a lot, because this whole YouTube and channel thing, and this doing this and stuff, it's still fairly new to me, even though it's almost been a whole year, it's, it's still unique, and it's still euphoric, it's still surreal, because it's still so new to me, and it's still so unique, and it's still so awesome feeling and I just love doing this and again I like I've said before I'm here for the long haul like I'm going to I know that this is something I want to do for a long time and I intend to do it for many a year straight on um, as long as I possibly can uh, yeah so I'm not going anywhere adventurous always be here to haunt your dreams and kill everything you love I was alright with that, so yeah. <clears throat> Look, man. Let your dreams be dreams. Just do it! I don't even know anymore. But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, and like I said, hopefully everything will go epic for you in the next year because 2016 looks like it's going to be epic for everybody but especially I feel like like for me personally it's going to be the best freaking thing ever like it's so with that being said this is the end of this long vlog it, literally this is a vlog so this is probably the very first vlog I've ever done but of course just with the webcam and my grandma sewing room stuff in the background even though technically this is my bedroom and I kind of hijacked this room and she left me, so, which, thanks to her meaning, because technically I'm surfing here, so to speak, you know, they say couch surfing, well, basically I'm room surfing, but, uh, I'm, like, more than thankful for my family, too, it's, it's amazing people, but, yeah, I sleep on the hard floor without any padding, because to me that's comfortable, and I'm happy that way, you know, so, it's another thing, it's like, a lot of people are like, how could you stand this, and it's like, how can I not? You know, it's like, I'm I'm happy. You know, that's all that matters to me. You know, it's like, I'm happy and I'm safe. And, you know? I may not be set and I may be still, like, I need to get everything I need to be to be pro-efficient and self-sufficient and all that stuff, which 2016 is going to be that year. I hope and I'm determined to make it that way. 
But, you know, it's like, and that bugs the crap out of me, obviously, that I'm not. Um, but, you know, to get my own plays and stuff, obviously. But, you know, it's like, but at the same time, I'm still happy because, you know, why, why wouldn't I be happy to be able to, you know, be safe, have a roof over my head and, you know, like, that's all I need, you know? It's like a, the Darius Rucker song, you know? It's like, it really is. It's all, all I need is basically a roof over my head and I am pretty much happy, you know? I'm a simplistic dork. <laughs> I really am. I'm a, I'm a simplistic dweeb, but I'm proud of it. You know, I'm, I'm a pinhead, so if you have a bowling ball, I'm ready. I'm ready. The pin's ready. See? All I need is a bowling ball, and we're fine. So, here's to Epic 2016. Here's to the best time in the world. I gotta still learn this uh, whole radius of where to put things and stuff and point this to and just to put my face in the line. Learn not to slosh. Hey guys! You like not seeing my mouth? I don't have a mouth. I'm kidding. You need to learn to shut up. That would help. Uh. <laughs> As usual, every time it's like, it's done. Seven years later. I swear, it's really, really six centuries. <laughs> well, this is the day I killed everyone. And anyway, stay happy, stay safe, stay full best vibes and everything else to you. And enjoy your day and night wherever you are. And I love you to death, full full time. I appreciate you. Yeah, endlessly. You don't understand. Like, there's no words I could ever say uh, to quantify it. Like. That's why, like I say, you know, I call you guys Fluffles Fam, is because you're the fluffiest family ever. So. Give you a little big hug. <laughs> and I do a little fun spin. Yeah, so. And I'll, I guess I'll see you all later. So. Merry Christmas, if you don't celebrate. Again, best of times to you. And. Good night, for sure. See you later.